Okay, this is going to be a basic instructional video on how to pack your rucksack according to the current kit list. So this is all short-term stuff. So make sure you have everything you need for the kit list already laid out before you even start packing your rucksack. Um, you see I have a full day's clothes already set up. You have everything pre-assembled, ready to go before you even start the packing process. So you got your thermals, your day, uh, days worth of clothes, and then your uh, uh, fleece as well. So you're going to make sure that when you have this stuff together, you pre-package it. So I have pants, shirt, jacket, as well as socks and underwear all rolled into one piece. And that's all going to go together. Then you got your thermals, top and bottom, but this can also be your rain gear, um, snow pants, whatever else has to go in there. And then of course, like your thermals and then your extras, um, as well as your gloves, canteen, all that stuff. So make sure you have your um, your outside set up correctly. So here I have my thermorest with my uh, ground sheet rolled up inside. That way when I get to a location, I just roll everything out. It takes up way less space inside the rack. And then on the outside, I have as many pouches as I can possibly find. So I have the two small pouches on the front here, and those are going to be for just kind of extra pieces. And then I have my two large pouches on the side. That's where the bulk of my clothing is going to go. So top and bottom, everything's strapped on good. And make sure you get as many of those pouches as possible. And then your ablutions kit, I normally just throw mine in one of these waist pouches right here, and it can basically strap on anywhere. So go back to our... Regular setup, we have our clothes uh, one day's worth set up here. You're going to want to bunch it all up and you're going to want to roll it as tight as possible just to make sure that it takes up as little room as possible. Now you're going to want to waterproof everything, so put everything inside plastic bags. Okay, so I'm using like these plastic white kitchen catchers, but you can really use whatever you want as long as it's a plastic bag that covers it. Once it's rolled up, tuck that down inside the bag and get it all the way down into the bottom. Okay, and then you're going to tuck it around the side. Okay. Now we move to the bag itself. Take one of your large pouches and start feeding it into the bottom. Now you want to make sure that you feed the bottom of the white bag into the bottom of your pouch. That way you have accessibility and you can still trust that it's going to be waterproof. So just tuck everything down as tight as you can, leaving the white flaps at the top. Once you have the tops, pull them loose, tuck one inside, and tuck the outside one around the outside of the bag. Pull the drawstring tight and clip up your bag. That one's good to go. So the same thing will apply to your fleece as well as your thermals or whatever else you have. So just roll them up, do the exact same thing, put them inside the white bags um, and package them all up exactly the same way. Just note that your smaller items like your thermals, your socks, your underwear, extra stuff like that will all fit in a very in a smaller pouch and that's why I keep the smaller pouches in the front because they're easily accessible. So moving on to once that's packaged, we'll go on to your valise. Now your valise should already be pre-packaged. Okay? You're going to have you know one to two sleeping bags in, in there, your ranger blanket or your liner as well as like a pillow. Uh, your bivy bag can also be tucked down the bottom of that or kind of around your gear if you want it for waterproof. Um, small as possible though because you want to fit that in tight. Okay? And that's going to go into the bottom of our rucksack. Now, making sure our ground sheet is not in there because that takes up a lot of space in there and that'll make it extremely bulky. So, now we're actually going to put it inside the rucksack so it has a small opening on the bottom. So, grab your rock with the handle up, your release, sorry, and put it in there. Just shove it in the bottom. Now, make sure that when you're shoving it in there, that it's all the way down into the bottom of your rock. You don't want it like any kind of gaps behind it. Make sure you tuck all of your strings and your straps in as well. Grab your uh, waterproof cover. Okay, tuck everything inside, do up the drawstring, do that tight, and shove everything down inside. Cover it with the outside of the compartment, do up your straps, all three of them. And then make sure that once you do the straps up, that everything gets tucked back in. Every time you leave a strap untucked, it's potentially something else that can get caught on a tree, get caught in a vehicle, doesn't really matter. Just give it all a tuck in. Okay, make sure your drawstrings are tight, shove that in, and then, again, tuck your straps in. Perfect. Alright, moving on. Okay, so now we have it all, all, all stuffed up. We're going to take our extra, our extra kit, you know, canteen, water bottle, whatever else we need. We're going to shove that into any extra pouches we have on the outside. Gloves, notepads, you know, phone chargers, whatever else you need can all go in there. Once you get that packed... Your main pouch is going to get stuffed with your day bag, which has been packed with the kit list that was already been provided. 
Okay, everything you need will go in there. Okay, including a day's clothes, whatever else we need. Okay, so shove that right down the side. This will make it easy for you guys when you guys get out to get out to a location and you want to go for a day's patrol. You don't want to take your rucksack, so you can just open up your rucksack, pull your day bag out, and you're good to go for just a quick little trip. Okay, so make sure that's down inside there, and then make sure you add everything else you can put right down inside your day bag there. So everything else opens up right in there. Okay, the last thing I did was I put my, my ablutions kit right on top. I like easy access to all of my stuff there. And then you have access to this little pouch as well. So shoving your floppy hat, your gloves, uh, your sewing kit, basically anything that you need to grab at a moment's notice can go right in the top there, and that's fairly waterproof as well. Um, the reason I have this on top is so I can grab anything I need at a moment's notice. You can pull anything off okay, and attach that to your day bag if you do need to grab and go. Okay, and again, this is the only, this is the way... I have my rucksack set up right now. Um, that's it works for me. It may not work for everyone. If you find a better way of doing it, there's by by all means, uh, go ahead and give it a try. But the reason I have everything so modular is because I like to grab and go. Okay, I only like carry my rucksack around, and I'm sure you don't either. So go ahead and give us a try if you don't like it.